We're going to do tricep basics today. I had a couple of people reach out to me. They messaged me. Hey, coach, I know you've done a lot of tricep videos, but show me your basic go-to tricep exercises. So I'm going to show you pretty much the basic exercises I do in a tricep workout. Now, I don't do a lot of tricep work when I do arms because I'm getting tricep engagement when I'm doing my chest and my shoulder workouts. So I might only pick two exercises, sometimes three, and I'll only do about two sets to failure on each one to get a really good pump. Because like I said, I've done tricep engagement when I'm doing chest and when I'm doing shoulders. So I really don't feel that my triceps need to get a full blown out tricep workout. And, but that's what works for me. It might not you know, be the same situation for you. You be the judge of that. But I'm gonna show you what I do when I do my triceps. I'll show you three exercises today. So let's take it over to the tricep area. All right, one of my go-to tricep exercises, and I used to do laying down skull crushes, but it's very hard on my elbows now. I'm 59 years old coming up. I like to do the rope overhead extensions. It mimics the skull crusher, but it doesn't bother my, my, um, my elbows, nor does it bother my shoulders when I do this. So remember what I say, train smarter, not harder. This is one of the train smarter things. I start with a weight I can handle. I keep the, the knots of the rope right at the top of my head. My elbows are pointed forward. A lot of people do it out. Elbows are pointed forward and I walk out. You could put a twist in it if you want. I come back to the starting point and I walk out. This is working all three heads of your tricep when you do this. And I squeeze at the end, squeeze it. The triceps are engaged and I'm squeezing the tricep, just like this. I'll usually do this two or three sets or two or three rounds of drop sets. Depends what I'm gonna do that day. I might start out with 50 pounds, rep it to failure. Those reps might go into the 20, 30, 40 rep range, drop the weight a little bit, more reps to failure, drop the weight a little bit, more reps to failure. This is gonna light your triceps up, especially if you superset this with a tricep pushdown, which we're gonna go next and, and show you that one. That's another go-to exercise for me. So you superset these overhead extensions with a tricep pushdown. The right way to do the tricep pushdown, I'm gonna show you, you're really gonna get a crazy pump in your triceps and it's all tricep muscle engagement. You're gonna control the repetitions from start to finish. You're not gonna muscle fuck these things by throwing your body into all this. So let's take it over to the tricep pushdown. Next exercise is tricep pushdown. Close grip tricep pushdown. <clears throat> this is a cambered bar. You can grab it on the outside. You can grab it on the inside. I do both forms, outside and inside. So watch how I do this. Watch my form. And I'm gonna show you, first of all, what you shouldn't be doing and what I see a lot of people doing. They put that pin all the way down on the stack. They get in here like this and they're doing this. That is 100% wrong, okay? You're using nothing but upper body force to push that weight down. The right way to do this, put my hands up on the bar, I come in close, my elbows are to my side, and I'm pushing down and I'm locking my tricep down. And I'm not just coming up, I'm locking down and I'm controlling the repetition coming up and I push down for a squeeze push down for a squeeze. My elbows are staying close to my side. I'm not using my upper body to push this weight down. And I'm getting total tricep muscle engagement through the entire rep range. And like I mentioned, when I was at the cable overhead extensions, <clears throat> I'll superset this back and forth, sometimes two, three rounds, sometimes four rounds. All depends on the pump I'm getting. When I'm numb, I'm done, okay? 
This is a great superset. Overhead tricep pushouts with the, with the rope, tricep extension, and the tricep pushdown done the correct way is going to give your tricep a hell of a pump and a hell of a burn. When you go into that high rep range, you do these in drop sets. I'm going to show you one more tricep exercise, and it's a single arm cable pushdown. So follow me over here. All right, my finishing exercise for triceps is usually a single arm exercise. Today I'm gonna to show you the single arm cable push down. With an underhand grip. Sometimes I'll go do tricep kickbacks with a dumbbell. Like I said in previous videos, I like to change it up. I don't like doing the same routine twice or I don't like doing the same routine in the same order. I'm always changing it up. So today, I'm gonna to do the tricep underhand grip extension. Again, form is everything. My arm is against my body. The handle is right here at my shoulder height. I come down and I'm rotating my hand into my thigh, just like this. And I'm squeezing the tricep. I'm locking that tricep down. I'm coming up controlled and I'm locking down. To the entire repetition range. All I'm using is my tricep. I'm not using any upper body strength to push this cable down. A lot of times you see people doing this. You're not impressing me. You're really not doing shit. You look kind of fucking stupid if you ask me. But this is the proper way to do this. Form is everything. Weight means nothing. It's the proper form with the right amount of weight. And like I said, I will come to this at the end of my workout. So my triceps are pretty spent when I get here. So I'm going to make sure I use a weight that I know I'm going to get some high repetitions, at least 20 reps or more until I can't do anymore. It's when you can't do anymore, that's the best part of the exercise because that's where you're going to get your results. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. Check out my training videos. There's a link in the description. Also, check out my all-fresh meal prep that I've been in collaboration with. It's eight minutes from frozen to, to um, plate ready. It's the best shrimp I've ever had. All protein, low carbohydrate, keto friendly. And also, another link in this description is a 30-day challenge I put together for you guys.